Okay, so I've now got my plan loaded up and um, due to a little bit of a bug in um, Eclipse, we just need to do uh, one more thing before we can start adding fields and that's to create um, another plan um, that will then allow us to plan on that. So I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to do a new plan and then next and then next and then OK and then next and then next. You kind of get the theme here. Lots of nexts to get us to this point here and then OK again. We're going to select shoe variant 1 which is OK again. Right then, so this is our first field that it's popping on. So my first field is going to be my anterior field. And we're going to use 10MV as it's a prostate plan. And then I'm going to click OK. So it's labeled it as plan 1. Um, I'm just going to rename it again to something that um, I'll remember. So it sticks out as mine. So I'm going to call this MC2. And I've now got uh, my MC2 plan there. So before we do any planning, let's just familiarize ourselves uh, with the volumes that we've got on here that we want to plan. So I'm just going to left click down in that left hand corner to make the fields disappear. And then I'm going to maximize this screen here. And we can make this a little bit bigger by clicking on the um, magnifying glass and drawing a box around it. And you can see here, I'm just going to scroll up and down, we've got a number of volumes on there. We've got our um, PTV, which is our blue line, our purple line, which is our prostate and seminal vesicles, our orange line there, which is our rectum, and then there's our femoral heads there. Okay, so that's the things, the structures that we're going to use to plan with. So, before I put... Um, anything extra on I'm just going to tick the beam so it comes again and I'm going to change this so it's a beams eye view this top right hand corner so right click top right hand corner and select a beams eye view and we can see here now that we've got a square field with no MLCs on and we can see the skin render there so um, before we do anything with that field we're going to position the ISA center in the correct place if it's not already done that so hopefully Eclipse will default to somewhere that's that's reasonable inside our PTV um, and we can see this circular mark there and there and there is our PTV now mine looks pretty good where it is pretty much in the middle of the PTV if I wanted to change it I could left click on the arrow up there left click on my field name there and I can pick that up and move it somewhere else. I might just move it a tiny bit more amp there so it's well in the middle there. So that's perfectly, not perfectly, that seems as close to the middle as we need it to be there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add a DRR onto this, a digitally reconstructed radiograph. So I'm going to right click on my field name and unsurprisingly we're going to click new DRR there. Lots of different defaults. We're going to go for the bone one because that's the one we're interested in and then click close. And then I'm going to get rid of this external contour. And in fact, I'm going to untick. We can untick lots of the structures. So we're not too interested in many of them at the moment. Let's just untick everything other than the PTV. So we can see here we have our PTV with our leaves around it. Or without the leaves around it, should I say. So what we need to do next is add some MLCs to uh, to form a shape around our PTV. So I'm going to right click on Ant again and I'm going to do new MLC. And then I'm going to up on this top bar here. You can see we hover over and it tells us what things are. We're going to do fit to structure. So I'm going to do click on there. And if you remember a margin of about 0.5 all the way round is a good margin to, to get us in the kind of right ballpark for um, PTV coverage. So it gets around the penumbra of the beam. And we're going to optimize the jaws, but we're going to leave the cull rotation unoptimized. And then I'm going to click fit. And we can see there that we've now got a field that has formed an MLC shape all the way around our PTV. So what I need to do now is copy this uh, field three times and change the gantry angles to create my 
um, four field plans. So I'm going to show you how to do one, and then I'm going to leave you to do the remainder. So I'm going to do, I'm going to right click on Ant, and I'm going to do Copy Field. So it's very similar to using other Microsoft bits of software on Windows. So copy and paste works um, on lots of things. So we've copied it. We can now paste the field. And this time I'm going to have a left field. And click OK. So it's done a, a direct copy of that field. And what we need to do now is swing that round to 90 degrees. So there's a few ways we can do that. We can click on the field itself. And I could drag it round if I wanted. Something like that. Um, I could right click on it and go into properties. Or I can manually type the gantry angle down here which is probably what I would normally do so I'm going to type 90 there but what you can see has happened is that the MLC's um, have maintained the shape as they were before um, which isn't much use to us so what we're going to do is left click on the MLC there and then click up there again and I'm going to fit around there okay so that's left us now with a field with the an ant and a left field. Now one thing we need to think about thinking ahead um, is where we want our collimator angle to be for this patient. So we know that we're likely going to need a wedge in this plan. So I want you to just have a think for a moment about where you commonly see wedges in which direction and on which field on prostate plans. So I'll just give you a few seconds to have a think about that. And the answer is more than likely we're going to need them on the lateral fields. And if you remember, on a on an electronic dynamic wedge, we're limited um, to the collimator angle that we can have uh, to to kind of define the direction of that wedge. And just from experience, I know that this needs to be um, either 90 or 270. It doesn't make a difference. Um, and if you're unsure about why, then give me a shout and we can talk about that. So I've spun that round. And that's now, again, the MLCs are the wrong shape. So I'm just going to set them back. And I'm going to do that and fit. Okay. So now I'll leave you to copy the remainder of the, the, the two fields. So uh, right click and paste. And then change things uh, to where they are. And have a pause the video now and have a guess where you think the collimator angles for each of them should be so i've now set my plan up with what we might call a four field brick and if we look down at this bottom uh, table here we can see i've got a gantry 0 90 180 270 and i've labeled them and left post and right if you want to change the name of them you can just double click there and type that in and Hopefully you've had a think and guess that the collimator on the lateral or the lateral needs to be at 90 or 270 as well. And what I've done is I've made all of my MLCs 0.5 bigger all the way around. So if I click on each of them, the MLCs, we can see they're all that a little bit bigger. And so I'm now ready for my first calculation. So there's two ways you can do that. You can go to planning. In fact, there's three ways I'm lying. And calculate. You can hit this figure here is it like on there or you can hit f5 as the shortcut i'm sure when you've done this a few times you'll uh, you'll just start hitting f5 as the shortcut so i'll leave you there with this video and um we will pick it up in a moment on the next one